I suppose we could start with this morning. Four All right. Us gathered together in the dining hall. <laughs> Soccer, are you the one that's just gonna recap everything? Hugo and myself, we waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo-Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo-Justice had abducted Hifumi. Wait a minute. Looking at the background right now, does any of this place look familiar, right? At all? I, I don't, I'm trying to remember what the rec room looks like. It might because... <laughs> I, I'm getting an idea that this could be a picture of him being a fanboy and seeing a Robo Justice cosplay or something. I don't know. We but let's see. Joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. And then... I'm just mostly skipping through this because we already know what's going on right now. Uyaga! Blah, blah, blah. Okay. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. So maybe... I don't fucking know anymore. Well, Sakura, Byakuya, and Cause Toko chased after the suspect. If this was an accomplice thing, then Hiro is without a doubt innocent. Because if Hiro is an accomplice, then... Then, obviously, he would just rat out the other person or something. Anyways. Asakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time, because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. And after some time... Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, which is where we rediscovered the corpses. And not only that, but according to Aoi and Sakura, the repository was locked. Which... I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. 
and all from right. there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradiction, eh, the contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to, oh shit, sorry GameCube controller. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I had to find them, no matter what. Okay, let's do this. Do I have multiple bullets this time, or is this just a single bullet and it obvious? Monocle file number three. Okay, hit in the head, dead. Got it. That's very simple, right? So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he threw me, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. But while could that be a setup? ...from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after Do you think that that could have been just set up, though? The Justice Hammers were numbered, but... Were they really used in that order? So, regarding Taka, I wonder if he died or perhaps it was after. We already know what order oh, they were killed in. Shit. Wrong button. And I think that's the wrong bullet as well. Don't scare me like that. It makes me think of who... Shoot! Okay. Alright, so that's not it. So there's no dispute about the order where she died. Maybe how or what about the order there. Alright. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammer. Shit! No, god damn it. Okay. Okay, so it has to be that maybe. It said it was killed by hammers, so... Yeah, it didn't specify which hammer. That could be a vague statement, but at the same time... Because of the numbering of the hammers... No, 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 no! Oops! It's true that Hifumi was I did not mean to do that. I was trying to... Fuck. Do I still keep that? Mmm, fuck. We already know what order they were killed in. How do I do that again? How did I use that fucking- Okay, good. Now I'm back to Mokuma file too. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's true that he threw me with while Taco's death came from a straight. Okay, 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 okay. I still got this, at least. I forgot I had that ability as well, but I forgot how to activate that exactly. I wonder if he got what happened to know what What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's not that either. Okay, so... So it's obviously I have to use some sort of uh, thing as well. I was wondering because uh, I, I was wondering too, but that seems like a vague uh, statement. So, all right, let's try this again. We already know. How the fuck do I get this thing again? Is a circle? How the fuck do I get the evidence again? What's the oh, fuck? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me review the. Is there a review controls? Select truth bullet. Is it L? It might be L. I I don't remember pressing the L button though. Let's Taka's death. I wonder I remember slowing down and then pressing some sort of button. Taka came last. What Because of the it's true that he threw me without Taka's death came C. So it's obvious Taka came after. Okay, I'm trying. This is gonna be a very tricky moment for me because I'm trying to remember. We already know what order they were killed. Was it square? No, square is just that. What makes you say that? It's either I remember either pressing X or square. It's true. What the fuck is the button? I'm hammer three. Select start. While Taka's death, select is absolutely nothing. Right stick. I am so. Uh. Oh, it's whole triangle. That's why I need. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I know. Now I know. Now I know. Regarding Taka's death, I wonder if. Wait, but before we do that, we need to remember what exactly which which uh, thing it is. What order they were killed in? Okay. What order? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammer. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer. Okay, okay. I don't really have much of a choice, so it's either I get this one right or I get this one right in the second time. So fuck it. So, so it's triangle. I got it now. Thank God. Holy fuck. 
Oh, I thought that was annoying. We already know what order they were killed in. All right. Came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. There we go. No, it's wrong. Holy fuck, that was annoying. Trying to remember what the hell that does. See, this is what happens when you take breaks a lot. Hold on. Especially There's when you play no the game in. Assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. Yeah, I mean, it might seem obvious, but at the same time, it's not logical. Anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying true. the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi. That is a possibility. Okay then, let's see the proof. Fuck. <laughs> okay then. Evidence that proves Taka was killed before he- well, the clock, right? 6 o'clock? A.M. That's obvious, right? That one's really obvious, actually. Wrist S. Okay, thank god this one's easy. As all balls. Wrist watch. Where's W? W W W W there you are. Get rid of B. Awesome. A A A A A A A A A A A God, I'm really loving this music. This could be like a fit and smashling episode. Guys, also fast forward square. Okay, yeah, I could also fast forward with circle. Thank God. Uh C. Oh, there we go. And last but not least is H. Okay. Now I understand. Got it. I've got it. Taka's wristwatch. See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just. So exactly how am I ex um, explaining this? Do I have just have like a picture of his wristwatch or something or what? It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Interesting. Because as it might be being the truth bullets in our tablets or whatever. So if it wasn't broken after 6 last night, then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before right. Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. So the fourth hammer was the first exactly. one in actuality. The culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Well, shit! Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. Now for his murder, obviously. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That is, yeah. Okay. With him, at least, we're all safe. Now with Taka's murder, that's a whole nother question of answers and such. What was that? Yeah, he died in the middle of our investigation. Ooh, excuse me. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. That's totally true. We're all. Oh, I know. They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on. Okay. That's true. Where's the tape? That's true. Don't know. <laughs> don't just go making stuff. Exactly. Up. Just don't make assumptions. We need the evidence to back that up as well. We all have rock solid alibis for when. I mean, I'm not making up any assumptions right now without the backing evidence that's required, unless I have an ID or something. Whenever I think of an argument, I usually think, oh, is there some sort of evidence that backs that up, or am I just making a bullshit? That's why when I say something about his organs being spilled out or whatever. Okay, anyways. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. 
Well, don't forget. I... Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Yeah, he's big. As we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, well, that's it. neither of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. So they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. Okay. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's definitely the number That's one question true. right now. We searched everywhere. But we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... Okay, so it's a short amount of time. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third? in that short amount of time? Oh man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What are you trying to get here, Kyoko? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Oh yeah, I actually thought about that before, didn't I? That was that was what I think. Maybe he was still conscious while he was moving, so he moved him to himself to the art room for some stupid reason. The dead body m m moved on its own? <laughs> no! Not another... No! I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is, we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality, he was still alive. Yeah, that's why he was, yeah. Alive? Still able to be a little bit conscious. After Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own. That's a possibility. We found his body. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That it isn't possible. The idea that Hifumi was still alive, is it really possible? It is, I assume, because of his last words. But again, like. That kind of, what the fuck's with the hero thing? Broken wrist watch, okay. What the hell is this going on in? Also, how many life points do I have left? Do I only have two hearts left, okay. When we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. That could just be... Had been found. Shit, oops, no, fuck, right, right, thing is... I keep forgetting, yes. But I, what I was thinking is because it was for the announcement for Taka's dead body, not Hifumi's dead body. Not only that, but that was... Yeah, that was a reason why there was two different announcements. One for Taka that was coincidentally alongside with our discovery for Hifumi's quote-unquote dead body. But the second time was also for Hifumi's dead body... So, I'm on the right track with that, but how the fuck am I supposed to- How am I supposed to, uh, prove that? So that's definitely the contradiction there. Still alive. That was definitely the contradiction right there. But, what evidence that proves that? Or do I have to do the triangle thing again? Fuck, okay. Alright. Let me, let me look at all the testimonies before we jump to conclusions. Sorry about that. I- I just- I was- And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Yeah. Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Or maybe, yeah. Okay, I think I know what to do now. Are you saying that when we first found he found as a chance he was out? Oh, still alive. No. Is that it? It is impossible. He me was dead. We and you know that how? Sure, you heard about a discovery now. But he found his dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was really, really maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. What? What? How's that not? What the fuck? Shoot! I thought that I'm trying to build up to that thing as well. 
That's what I'm trying to say. The dead body discovery was for fucking Taka. That's what I was trying to say. What the hell? Uh, and what? Am I am I gonna be voted as the guy that killed everyone because I'm trying to figure out shit out? Fuck. Okay. Okay, whatever. I like how there's also a time limit for giving up as or for not giving up or whatever. But okay, so I'm obviously on the right track. It's just that for some reason I'm not doing something correctly, or what? Okay, so broken wrist watch is out of the question, without a doubt, because that has something to do with how he was murdered, not when the body was discovered. When he first found he threw me in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive. That has nothing to do with anything. you know that Shortly, he heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. But that's not just his dead body. It could also be f that was it was because of Taka's dead body was discovered, not fucking Hifumi. was intended to signal someone else's dead body has been found. Someone else's discovery. That's what I'm trying to say. But apparently that's the wrong one. The fuck? But Hifumi and Taka's dead body were discovered at the exact same moment. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. When we first found Hifumi in the nurse. How the fuck am I supposed to get rid of this thing now? There's a chance he was actually still alive. What the fuck? Okay, what am I missing? Okay, what am, what the fuck am I doing wrong here? I'm pretty sure that's the answer, but... Uh, let's just try the... Uh, let's... Jen, oops. Fuck. Shit, oh my god, why am I pressing discovery. I'm fucking confused as hell. Like, I'm on the right track, aren't I? Unless there's something I'm missing? Are you saying that when we first... Fuck, no, fuck it. Let me take a break. I'm figuring this shit out. 